is Akeem J. Brett of President Hill Ministry, and our mission is to take the word of God to the world, claiming the promise of Luke 5 and verse 17, that as we teach, that the power of the Lord would be present to heal them. And today, we're going to continue our series of topics on finishing the work. Finishing the work. Let's turn in our Bible to Jeremiah chapter 12. Jeremiah chapter 12, and the Bible speaks of footmen, running with the footmen. We understand that there's a time that is going to come called the time of trouble. And during that time, the Bible says that the, if we're not able to run with the footmen, how can we run with the horses? It's going to be a terrible time, a time such as never was since the, there was a nation, a time of great distress upon the people of God that keep the commandments and have the faith of Jesus. But the Bible lets us know if we can't run with the footmen, how can we run with the horses? And who are the footmen? Footmen are like the soldiers today. Footmen are those in the army. Footmen are those who are in the front lines. And God is calling us to be footmen to endure trial, to endure affliction, to endure ridicule, to endure all these things. But also, he's calling us to be footmen in terms of his work, to be in the front lines of working for the Lord. We are in a spiritual warfare. It's time to be a part of God's army. God's footmen to carry the gospel to the world. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 5, it says, If thou hast run with the footmen and they have wearied thee, then how can thou cont contend with the horses? And if the land of peace wherein thou trusted, they wearied thee, then how shalt thou, how wilt thou do in the swelling of the Jordan? The Bible says we must run with the footmen or we must not be weary and brothers and sisters in terms of the footmen is also enduring trials and all these things but the footmen the bible lets us know that the those who preach the gospel who run with the everlasting gospel are god's footmen are you an active servant of the lord are you actively working for the lord are you god's footmen the bible says in the book of ephesians chapter 6 let's go there Ephesians chapter 6, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, the Bible says that those who preach the gospel notice the condition of their feet. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 15, it says, And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. This is talking about the whole armor of God. This is talking about how we are to wear this armor in spiritual warfare. And the footmen have their feet shod with the gospel of peace. The footmen are carrying the gospel to all of the world. Can we run with the footmen? Are we actively in doing aggressive evangelism? Are we actively taking up the work that God has called us to do and spreading the gospel? Many are to hear the gospel. But how can they hear without a preacher? How can they hear without a footman? The Bible says in the book of Romans. Let's go to Romans. Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Notice what the Bible says. In the book of Romans chapter 10, the Bible lets us know. In the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 14, it says, How then shall they hear on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him of whom they had not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher, I would say, without a footman. Verse number 15 says, How shall they preach except they be sent, as it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Are we God's footmen? Many need to hear the gospel all over the world. But the Bible says that we must be preaching, teaching. How can we preach unless a preacher is sent? And God is sending us as God sent Jesus. So he's sending us today to go into all the world, to share God's message of truth, to bring forth evangelism, and also to share principles of truth with others through tracts and books and prayer, and also witnessing to many different people. We are the footmen that God wants to use to bring the gospel to the world. And not only bring the gospel to the world, but through others receiving the gospel, God wants us to make other people footmen for the front lines of the gospel as they receive the gospel themselves. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2, notice what the Bible says in the Old Testament, turning to the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2, 
that God is calling us to not only share the gospel, preach the gospel, but God is calling us as we give the gospel to allow others to hear the gospel and to learn that God wants them now to be footmen in the army, on the front lines, now giving the gospel to the world. Are you God's footmen? And are you, by God's grace, seeking to make others footmen for Christ by sharing the gospel? The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse number 2. The Bible says in Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse number 2, it says, For the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run foot, that he may run that readeth it. So as we write the vision, and we should be now writing plans for evangelism. We should now be making plans for evangelism. Without vision, the people perish. Perish. We need to win souls. Write vision. Now is the time for us to write plans for evangelism. And as we write plans, make it plain upon tables. And as we share God's message with others, they may now run. They may now be God's footmen also. God is calling us to be on the front lines, to share the message with the world. And it is my prayer that all of us will be God's footmen for the last days, finishing the work which God has called us to do.